talk. Well, contact Stockton Police, or you can call Crime Stoppers if you think you have any information that might help them. A 14-year-old boy is doing okay tonight after getting bitten by a police dog. Lathrop Police say that the teen asked mm -hmm. to pet that canine. The cop went ahead and said, yes, go ahead, but apparently the dog not having it. The teen ended up with a mark on his upper forearm. Mark Debsky live for us tonight. Mark, what happened today sort of falls right in line with some new information that was released just this afternoon. Yeah, it really does, Eric. You know, State Farm Insurance, they just released a list of its top dog bite claims. Now, California is number one at the top of the list for 2011 with 527 reported bites in our state, leading to more than $20 million in claims. Now, Illinois was next, followed by Texas, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Now, we've seen our share in this area over the past few years. In fact, check this out. In the last two nights, Sacramento Animal Control has responded to two separate dog bite attacks. So how can you tell when a dog is dangerous? There are some telltale signs, physical signs, in fact. Coming up, the visual clues for you tonight at 1035. You should take to heart so you don't become another dog bite statistic. Eric? All right, Mark, see you in 25 minutes. Thanks. Busted for tagging a freeway sign with spray paint. Take a look at this guy. Cops say that this is... A man from Citrus Heights, he's 20 years old, his name is Timothy Navarro. He was arrested last night after someone called police about a guy that was tagging a freeway sign in the Oak Park area. Well, this is what cops are saying that he did. Take a look above you. When cops responded, they actually found some fresh paint on that Highway 99 sign at 12th Avenue. They tracked down Navarro. He was pretty close by. They also said that he had some fresh paint on his clothes and on his hands as well. Hard to believe, but you here are actually watching a system that we can have. Yeah, but well, we use that term lightly. Let's take a look outdoors real quick. I want to show you the winds. We have a nice delta breeze and a system that's riding right towards the coast. Take a look, and you'll see the cloud cover right now just offshore. For the most part, we're going to see cloud cover, but this is slowly going to make its way inland as we go through the day tomorrow. So here's your future cast at 8 a.m. You see cloud cover, and we're definitely going to have cooler temperatures. But here we are at 6 o'clock. Can you see that little bit of green? That's about the chance that we're going to have. So it's just oh, a oh, 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 my God. We have to be prepared for a much cooler day. As you can see, we are going to be in the upper 70s to low 80s through the end of the week. And we warm it up for the weekend. More on this coming up, guys. Arrested for not taking orders. We have some new developments tonight about a tuberculosis patient who refused treatment. Armando Rodriguez is due in court. But his court date is pending. He's PD TV test, rather. He should be facing a judge on Friday. Right now, he's in San Joaquin County Jail. Rodriguez will be facing a year in jail for putting his community at risk. Coming up on Story News.